In this video, we will discuss about a potential novel target for the treatment of pancreatic cancers. So, in our many in many of our videos, we have discussed that pancreatic cancers leads to the aberrant glycosylation. And the aberrant glycosylation is represented by uh, this uh, symbol in this figure on N. The deglycosylation uh, is represented by this figure that we can be seen here. So and G is represent the glycosylation and NG represent non glycosylation. So what they have uh, shown in this uh, figure or in this paper is that the pancreatic cancers are uh, this ferroportus resistance. Ferroportus is the you can say program set triggering of the program cell that because of the iron that leads to the uh, lipid reactive oxygen and that leads to the lipid oxi oxidations because of the increased amount of the irons within the cells however uh, what they have made a hypothesis that it is some kind of cross -rela cross relations between the aberrant glycosylation and uh, uh, ferrospotase that prevent that keeps this pancreatic cancer cells as ferrospotase resistance so in this paper what they have found out is that uh, it's this uh, b3 uh, GNT3 uh, gene and also uh, this uh, wild type uh, 4F2 HC gene. Upregulations of this or, or presence of these genes within the pancreatic cancers interact or crosstalk uh, with the apparent glycosylation and that leads to the increase in the amount of uh, glutathione which is represented here by GPX4 and that will prevent the lipid uh, reactive oxygen species formations and uh, that finally prevents this ferroportase or that is program cell death. However, uh, so in order to confirm their uh, study, uh, they have done uh, they have done many different combinations. Uh, that is, uh, first uh, they have tried to they knock down this 42F, uh, 4F to SC, and uh, with this they can check that there is a decrease in the amount of glutathione phosphate, which is represented by GPX4 and thus the cells are more uh, now susceptible to liquid lipid ROS and then this ferroptotase at least to this ferroptotase and when they uh, introduce the wild type 4F2HC in this uh, 4F2HC knockout cells they can see that the ferroptotase sensit uh, sens sensitivity decreases and cells become ferroptotase resistance and when they in introduce this mutated uh, 4F to SC3, they can again see that its not, its sensitivity again uh, is not able to uh, increase, and cells become ferroportase sensitive, and it can go under this ferroportase uh, uh, ferroptosis that is programmed cell death. So what they finally uh, conclude in their paper is that uh, this. Deglycosylation, deglycosylation in combine in combination, deglycosylation either through this PNJSF or this uh, tunic mycin that is TM to or and that will make this uh, glycosylation of this 4F2C uh, that will deglycosylate this 4F2SC uh, could be a potential target uh, for this pancreatic cancers and. Uh, in order to validate their uh, studies, what they have did it is that they checked the clinical uh, patients that are, and they have seen that patients that have high amount of this uh, 4F2 SC3 or this B3 uh, GNT3 has the poor survival rate. So uh, both the things can be uh, reduced. So both the things can be uh, reduced either by using this PNJSF or using this uh, tunic mycin so uh, and so this is uh, the crosstalk that has occurred uh, between this ferroptosis and aberrant glycosylation that will makes the uh, these pdsc cells more uh, more we can say ferroptosis resistance or so this could be one of the reasons why this key some of the chemo traditional chemotherapies doesn't work on PDAC so these cells are ferroptotase resistance so I hope you got a basic idea about this uh, 
novel target for PDAC. If you need to understand more about this uh, potential novel target that can help in the treatment of PDAC, that is uh, deglycosylation of this 4F2SC3 or N along with that is decrease in this B3G and T3 and you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time